Today, we're learning all about cloning and owning campaigns within your KV Core system. Hi, if you don't know who I am, I am Katie, and I am a KV Core expert. Um, I help real estate agents learn the system, use the system. I also do some virtual assistance if they want to use the system, but can't be bothered and want me to do everything for them. <laughs> I also help with a little bit of social media marketing, digital and physical, all that fun stuff. But today we're going to talk about campaigns within your system. So if you do not know where they are, they're under marketing. Uh, smart campaigns, that's your little quick button there. But if you do go to marketing or all marketing, that's the same button, then smart campaigns is right there and you can just hit manage campaigns. So as you can see, I only have one campaign in here. It's not even on um, because that's just what EXP put in my folder, I guess, when I signed up with them. Um, so we are going to look at the KV Core library because KV Core does provide you with a few campaigns. Um, we scroll down, we can see 27, at least for me, um, in my campaign folder, my KV Core folder. So the anatomy of this page is just, I guess, sort of the description of the campaign. So campaign name, obvious. Um, that's something that you can search for within the search bar here. If you're looking for like nurture, you're looking for active, that sort of thing. That's good to have if you have too many campaigns going on. Campaign description, also for you. I mean, it just says system default for context who is active. That's like, that doesn't tell you anything. So campaign description, forget about it. <laughs> Starts when status is active, lead. Um, this has no start trigger. So that just means this specific campaign, if it is in your campaign folder and it is live, will just have to be added to contacts in your CRM manually. Um, designed for, you could do all, you could do buyer, renter, seller, vendor, agent. Channels, this is just what lives in the campaign. So this one is email and text messages. This one is just tasks. So if I have an active renter um, thrown into my CRM, I could put this on them. And then the system will actually tell me each week you can see immediately day 7, 14, 21, each week to check in with them. Because if they are an active lead, you do want to keep nurturing them and calling them and seeing where they are within their journey. So some are just tasks, um, but a lot are emails, text, calls, um, all the stuff that you want to do within your smart CRM to keep in contact with everybody. And then touches, that's just how many things that are in there. So this is each week for 30 weeks, 29 weeks. Um, yeah, this is 23 emails and text messages within a year. So if we look at this one, for instance, it's all emails. Oh, and then, hey, one text, two texts, so random. Uh, it is 365 days, and it is all you, the agent, to the contact. So if we do like this one, this is for oh, a buyer, a mix of emails, a few text messages, blah, blah, blah. If we do like this one and we like all of the things that are happening, the description, the, the no trigger, design for all. I don't know why it's called buyer nurture and it's designed for all, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> Email text, you can always do add to library and it'll hop right into the My Campaign folder. However, if we sort of like it, um, I don't know, we'd have to like, I guess, look into things more. We could always clone it. And then we can change some of the things um, that are happening. So, if you don't like this, I don't want to trigger, that's fine. You can always bulk add a campaign to people in your CRM, or you could add a trigger. My favorite one is hashtag is, 
Um, and then this is uh, nurture campaign. So that gives me the um, the authority, I guess, to put it on people in my CRM. So lead is um, like active lead or something like that. Lead is client. Some of those things automatically get triggered when somebody's status is changed. And I don't love that because I want to contact people within my CRM in the way that I want to contact them. So a hashtag is more, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. Um, specific. So I put it on people and I know it's going to people as opposed to the system just pulling, oh, this person's a client. Let's put them on this campaign, if that makes sense. Okay. So we have our hashtag ready for a campaign. These always run. I always say no. So as you can see, it's a year's worth of emails and two text messages. <laughs> Um, so if you do always run, they will get all of the things in the campaign. Um, you don't want that. If, for instance, they write back to you, the campaign is paused. And that means no. Because if they write back to you, then you're going to write back to them with more specific things because perhaps they're asking you a question and they're actually uh, contacting you to buy or sell. I guess we'll leave this is all for now because so, I didn't read any of the emails. We'll see who it's actually for. Um, and then, yeah, nurture one year. Campaign description again, doesn't matter. It's scoped for me. It runs for agents, which is me. The starting point is my hashtag design for all, whatever. Um, and then I just go finish. And now if I go to my campaign folder, here it is. So this one is the one that was in there before. And now this one is the one that I just added. So if I do want to put this on somebody, if I add this hashtag right now, it will not run because the status is not on. So you want to toggle that guy on. Are you sure? And then it's active. And if if you do happen to put this hashtag on somebody, then come back in here and turn this on, it will not work. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, KV Core is always looking forward. So you want to add this hashtag once this is on because it's active. Okay. So things that you can change within your campaign, you can turn it on and off again here. You can edit your hashtag. Um, you can edit who it applies for, buyer, sellers, et cetera, et cetera. You can share this campaign with somebody or you can delete the campaign from your folder if you, it turns out you don't like it at all. And then down here, the campaign actions, you can see if you go to edit, you can see what the email is. You can change it. Um, and then you could change the, the days or the hours in which it's sent. So this email is called Nurture Motivated Seller. Um, how to find motivated sellers. Hi, first name. Just a quick tip that might help you find properties with motivated sellers. If you go to my website, this is my website, merge tag and do a search, you can put in the word motivated in the keyword box and see all properties where the term motivated is showing up in the MLS remarks for the listing. I'd also be happy to run a direct search for these properties and send you a link if you want. This is not a question, let me know. Also not a question, sorry, bothers me. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So because I changed this, and I only changed a little bit of punctuation, but I still did change it, I do have to um, name the new template. So the old template, How to Find Motivated Sellers, will be in my folder because I do have this campaign in my folder, but this one will also be in my folder. So I want to do my initials so I know 
and that this is the one that I edited. And then we can just call it motivated sellers, why not? So I do that, it's going to save. I'm gonna have this template now. Um, if I wanna send this one off to people, I can, or I can just send it within the campaign. Um, and this is from, so it's from me, and then to my contact. Um, when I put somebody on this campaign, they will not get anything until day seven. So I can do run immediately. And once I save the changes, doo -doo -doo, as soon as I put them on this campaign, they will get this email. So I don't really love that because it's like, um, it's just so random to tell people to search on my website. So I want to do like an introductory email first. <laughs> so we will do days. You could do minutes, hours, or days, and then we'll keep it at seven. So there, um, the one thing that is annoying with campaigns is that you can't set a date. <clears throat> so I can't say, I want this email to go out like uh, the 4th of July, for instance. You can't do like a holiday campaign, um, but you can do days, hours, and minutes. So like, a few hours after an open house, people will get the thank you for coming to my open house. And then this is seven days after they hop on this, they will get um, this email from me. So if you did want to add an action, you can add an email here. And then I could do, hi, I don't want to yell at them. We'll do, our merge tag for lead first name. Um, thank you for signing up for my email. There's a lot of lists, like depending on where they come from, this could be your welcome email. Um, if you, no, I love for you to, why do I keep doing that? Hit reply and Tell me where you are in your real estate journey. We'll be in touch very soon <clears throat> to and then we can merge tag my name. So this is, again, I want to add my initials so I know that I made it, I've edited it. Um, <clears throat> no, we'll do this as a welcome email. Welcome email. You know what we're just going to do? Copy and paste to hide first name. And then this one, We'll run immediately. You can see how bad I am at typing. <laughs> Email from me to contact. So somebody hops on my email list through Facebook, through a landing page that I do, through something like that. I pop them onto this campaign. Immediately they get a welcome email from me. Thanks for joining my newsletter list. Um, you'll be hearing from me soon. And then day seven. This is a weird one to give them right away. Again, you can edit, you can hit remove to any of these. Um, but I would go through, because this is what KB Cord thinks a one year of nurturing a client should look like. So they're the experts, right? So maybe some of these things have worked in the past for them. So I would go through, I would read them. I would make them sound like me. Um, maybe I would even write down like, the sequence of things. So like searching for sellers, um, finding an investment property, um, renting versus buying. And then I would see like, does that even make sense in the right order? I could change the order of things. Again, I could remove things. I could add in my own emails, uh, my own templates. And then of course, because it's a, they don't get a text until day 180. That's weird to me. 
So I would also add an action text message and I would do um, maybe day three. And I would say, hey, I hope you got my first email. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you. Just making sure this is a, a good phone number to contact you to. And then hopefully they say yes. That's then subscribing to your emails and then you're good to go. So that is how uh, you clone and quote own a campaign. You could do one in the KV Core library and then make it your own. Again, you want to make sure it's on and then you can edit anything you want. Um, this is to start a campaign from scratch. That's something more advanced that we will go over in future videos. Um, all right. So last thing I wanted to remind you of is that I do help agents with their KV Core systems. If you're looking for virtual assistance, you don't want to do any of this yourself. I'm happy to help. Um, I also do um, courses and classes. Check out my website, thecrmfairy.com. And I will um, link below, I guess, the, the three campaigns that I have that you could actually purchase just to add right to your, um, your campaign folder. So they are essentially um, bones of a campaign. So your welcome campaign, your buyer campaign, and your seller campaign. You buy them as a bundle. You can buy them one off. Um, check them out in the link below. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful.